install the signal unit with spacer. Tighten the back plate. Tighten the signal unit and rotor with a 20 newton meter torque. Use the assembly tool to install a new oil seal with its sealing lip facing out and secure. Mount the gear shift retaining lever. Insert the spring. Push on the helical gear. Lock the helical gear by means of the assembly bridge and tighten with a 60 newton meter torque. Secure the fastening nut. Insert the spacer with its recess facing down. The needle bearing and primary transmission pinion with clutch center. The required pinion actual free play is 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 millimeter. Determine the correct actual free play of the pinion by lifting up the pinion and a measuring device. Use spacers of different thickness to achieve the required free play. Mount the thrust washer with the recess facing down and fit the spring lock washer. Slide the clutch on the absolutely grease-free crankshaft pin. Use a spacer to tighten the clutch assembly with a 90 newton meter torque. Fit the gasket. Observe the correct position of the cam plate. 
prior to mounting the pre-assembled clutch cover to the crankcase. Tighten the tachometer drive worm. Insert the clutch adjusting plate and the rubber O-ring. Observe the required 11 mm distance between connection spindle bore and the clutch cover. The clutch course adjustment is made by means of the adjusting plate. Install the tachometer drive housing. Put the sealing compound applied oil pump gasket into place. Make sure that the oil pump dog and main shaft slot mate properly. Install the gear shift lever. Fit the oil pump connection hose to the non-return valve and secure. Prior to mounting the piston cylinder assembly, both parts have to be examined to make sure of the correct standard 0.05 mm clearance. The arrow on the piston crown faces to the outlet port and the punched figures indicate the piston diameter in millimeters. In the demonstrated case, a cylinder of the plus one tolerance group has to be mounted. The marking plus one corresponds with a liner diameter of 69.01 millimeter. Tolerance group marking is indicated by punched figures on the cylinder top. Whenever new parts are installed, Make sure all components such as piston, gudgeon pin, connecting rod and small end bearing correspond with the color code shown in our mating table. Heat up the piston to approximately 50 degrees centigrade. Guide the cold gudgeon pin by means of the guiding pin into the piston and connecting rod with fitted needle bearing. Install both circlips into the piston grooves and check for correct fitting. Insert the cylinder base gasket and place the piston support below the piston skirt. Apply some oil on the cylinder liner.
turn the piston rings with open ends against the locating pegs. Squeeze the top ring and ease the cylinder down. Remove the piston support. Fit a cylinder head gasket. Install the cylinder head. Fasten the head diagonally with two nuts. Gap determination is demonstrated by means of a sectional model in this case. The gap is determined by means of a 2 mm thick tin wire fitted between cylinder head interior and piston crown. Guide the wire to the cylinder liner. Turn the piston through the top dead center to flatten the wire for value determination. the correct value should be 0 0.9 to 1.2 millimeters. The achieved value is an approximate one, which can be corrected by fitting the appropriate gaskets between cylinder and cylinder head. Tighten the cylinder head diagonally with a 34 Newton meter torque. Timing is possible with a dismounted engine. The following tools are required for timing. Timing tool, electronic voltmeter, control unit, and a 12 volt battery. Two point zero five plus zero point five millimeters is the correct setting. If necessary, reset the timing by shifting the back plate on the stator housing. Finally, top up the gearbox with 900 cubic centimeters of gear oil of the recommended grade. The complete overhaul technology is contained in our workshop manual issued in several languages for the MZ ETZ251 motorcycle.